Hey, welcome to Hooper's Radar. Today's discussion of the day are going to be the Milwaukee Bucks as they've been on fire lately and look unstoppable. With that said, let's get into it. The Milwaukee Bucks have been so consistent since the start of the NBA season and they currently are the only team that is undefeated, let alone the only team with 9 wins. Just a reminder, this Bucks team is missing their second option in Chris Middleton and they still look like the same team that made the NBA Finals. Chris Middleton has been a key part in past years and a great shooter who's a 20 point per game scorer and they don't seem to be missing him much at the moment. Not to mention Giannis who's at the forefront of this team's success. He's been playing out of his mind and just like every year, is at the top of the MVP race and should very well be considered for it if he continues to play this amazing. Giannis is currently averaging 32.6 points, 12.9 rebounds and 5.8 assists to go along with 1.5 blocks and one steal per game. He is putting up insane offensive production to go along with his usual defensive production. I believe he's at the top of the MVP ladder, if I'm not mistaken, and it's no secret that he is when he's putting up numbers like that and leading the Bucks to the top of the Eastern Conference. But to take some light off Giannis, Drew Holiday and Brooke Lopez have been the next most important contributors. We know how great of a two-way player Drew is, his playmaking and shooting is also underrated. He's been balling for the Bucks so far this season, he's averaging 20 points, 8 assists, 5.7 rebounds, and 1.6 steals per game. Drew's defense has always been the main talk of his game, but let's take a second to realize he is equally important on the offensive end and is the playmaker of this team, aside from Giannis. Drew has been a great fit since he arrived in Milwaukee and has been a main contributor who played a key role when this team was last in the finals. Brooke Lopez is another player I want to point out. This man looks like he's been turning the clock lately. He's been showing flashes of this prime Brooklyn Nets days. The other day, Lopez put up 25 points in a win against the Thunder in which Giannis didn't even play. But to give you an idea on what Brook Lopez has been putting on a consistent basis, he's averaging 15 points, 6.6 rebounds, and 2.6 blocks per game. For me, it's the blocks. Brook has been looking like an elite rim protector blocking everything at the rim. If Lopez continues to play like this, he'll have a much better season than his injury rigged situation last season. People forget how important Brook Lopez was to this Bucks team last season. Obviously, with Bobby Portis as Lopez's backup, he fills the shoes very well. But having your starting center is crucial to your team, and Lopez just fits so well next to Giannis as a stretch big who doesn't try to out-rebound Giannis but just plays his role. And to go back to Bobby Portis, he is the next most important player on this team. The guy is a great shooter as a big man and averaging 13.3 points and 11.2 rebounds per game coming off the bench. Bobby is literally one of the best sparks off the bench in the league and should get serious six-man consideration this year. For me, these are these have been the four players who have been the biggest contributors to why this Bucks team has had such a hot start, but let me know what you guys think in the comments. What do you think has been the main factor for the success of this Bucks team so far? Well, thanks for watching. I hope you all enjoyed. Go vote on the most impressive NBA team on my community tab if you haven't yet, because the most voted team gets a video. And make sure to like and subscribe to stay on the radar for all things basketball.